Hello everyone, welcome to Knob Talk. See you guys in a second. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. So, in traditional terms, we've been looking at movie theaters where we go and this is how the movies worked in, you know, from the past to now and certainly going on the future. But as we look at the new model, the VOD model, where the coronavirus hit us so badly that everybody's stuck at home, so now releasing films like on VOD have been actually profitable. And to give that example is Trolls 2 that just came out um, this Friday. It released on the 10th and on the first day it made more money, uh, actually let me say, 10 times more money than the Jurassic Park movie made, uh, Jurassic World actually made in its first day. So, you know, there might be studios looking at this like, okay, we can probably make money on VOD because they keep 80% of VOD profits and all the tickets purchased and everything. From theaters, they only take about 55 to like 60% depending on the movie and depending on what contract they got going on. And later on, that it decreases also and movie theaters get more money. So right now, with AMC in bankruptcy trouble, um, with all the theaters that are closed right now, would this be the new norm? Convenience beats everything. You're more convenient sitting at home. You don't have to go on other people's schedule. So let's say the movie theaters, they have their certain times where you can go and you have to look at the schedule. So this way, people can sit down and watch it on their phone, on their devices, on their TVs, on their 4K TVs. They can actually sit down and watch it at their time with Nobody telling them this is the time when we start. It starts when you say it starts. You got your own popcorn, your own drink, which is cheaper at home and cheaper at the grocery stores. And you can get the same like taste of the popcorn. You can put a little more salt or butter on it. Group of people together instead of going like two, three at theater and it's costing you triple the money than it's costing you staying at home. So that is why I'm thinking this much, this convenient, this whole coronavirus is going to change how we view movies. It's going to change the whole platform. And I don't think the theaters are going to last that long. Probably more like three years, I think there will be no theaters. So 10 years, movie theaters should have been gone. But now I'm thinking three to, actually I'll give it three to five years until they're gone. However long this coronavirus um, effect lasts and how long we're shut down and how long we're at home um, and I don't know when America goes back to normal, it's not like a key, you can just put it in and the ignition starts, it's a slow mover because even if everything opens, people are still hesitant to go out in public. There's going to be some people that regret it. they're not going to go out, they're going to stay in or they're gonna go in certain different places. They don't wanna be close to people. I mean, they just went through quarantine. So basically, it's gonna take time. It's not gonna be a very quick mover. It's gonna take about three months to four months for people to actually feel comfortable going out. I think that is why movie theaters are gonna be the thing of the past and VOD is gonna be the thing of the future. I love theaters. I'm not saying I don't like theaters. I love theaters. I love going to movies. I mean, if you ask anybody, they know that I love going to movies. I love going to the theaters. But certain times there are pros and cons of going to the theater. One is the timing. So it doesn't conflict with your timing sometimes. Um, second, depending on if the tickets are sold out. Um, at If you're watching from your own convenient home, tickets will never be sold out. You always get a ticket and you don't have to rush on Fandango um, and the site keeps crashing or other tickets like if a big movie comes out like the Avengers you can actually get the movie you know you don't have to get a movie you can just purchase the VOD and it just goes on your TV I mean this is the move of the future and I think the theaters are going to be the move that it has before the whole COVID-19 
came in, um, people were going less and less to the movie theaters before that. So I think it's because the, the prices, it's, I think it's because the convenient factor is not there, especially when they're increasing their price in tickets, um, popcorn, drinks, um, candy. In this day and age, it's more convenient to just sit at home, watch VOD, watch a movie on your own TV screens, and no rushing, no pushing around. People don't have to get their assigned seat. No more of sitting in front, watching the screen like this. It's gonna change. Movie theaters are, in my opinion, the thing in the past now. I think it's going to be more streaming and VOD that's gonna take over. This is my opinion. Um, this is what I'm predicting. And I wanna know what your thoughts are. Um, do you like going to the movies? When's the last time you went? And make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and share this video with somebody that needs it. Thank you.